Watch this chilling video capturing a disturbing incident where a knife-wielding man tries to force his way into a woman's home. The motive behind his actions remains unknown, but with persistent effort, he succeeds in gaining entry. Faced with a genuine threat to her life, the woman, in fear and self-defense, fires around, tragically ending the man's life. In this case, the police have chosen not to press charges against the woman, citing it as a valid application of stand-your-ground principles. It's worth noting the man has a history of domestic violence and anger issues. The landlord showed up at the tenant's doorstep for the overdue rent. As they began talking, the conversation escalated into a heated argument. The owner, frustrated with the unpaid rent, eventually declared the man's eviction. Please wait. It may take me a moment to answer. Yes, sir. Did you get my rent? I had your money. These on. I want to put it back in the bank. I had the money cash right here. Five days. Five days waiting for you. I complained that as I told you. I went and put it back in the bank. Okay. You could come tomorrow at the same time. Hey. Anyway, I come from work. I already work today. You got this month and next month's rent, right? Come on. I just started working. You've been good with me all these months. Now I'm, I'm no sorry. good no more. I told you that. But don't be so bad with me. I just got on my. You're being evicted. Don't you understand? Why am I getting evicted? You're being evicted. Non-payment of rent. I tell you what. You take that money. Don't and make me And you sir. go and you rent a big U-Haul truck. And you where pack it up in here, where am I going to move you put all your stuff in that truck, and you move back to Miami and go live with your mother or your roommate's mother. Her roommate? She's gone. There's nobody here living with her. Her, her mother. Her you, mother passed away last month. Well, okay? then go somewhere well, where else. What else? Then go somewhere else. But you're being evicted. And then there you go. What do you want my money for? I don't want it now. I want you to move out. Okay. I'll see you in three months. I'll take three months. And try me, and I'll make it last. I have attorneys that will. Well, I have an spirit. attorney who will hang you. You want, you want me to fall? You want me to. Uh, you right want there? me to fall? I can fall too, buddy. Right there, you just. I can right fall there. too. Right there, right you just. There. I can fall too. Oh, oh hell yeah. Look, you just got right no, there. No, no. You're another. Tensions rose further, and the verbal confrontation turned physical. A daring group of teenage thieves was caught on nearly 20 security cameras attempting to break into a Wilston home while the family slept upstairs. Astonishingly, the intruders made no effort to conceal their identities and fled with just a shoe left at the front door. Just without a care in the world, as if they would never get caught. Their actual target, a multi-million dollar car collection, remained secured in the garage. This incident marked the third time the house and its valuable car collection were targeted. This is the third attempt now in 18 months, so it's getting a little bit ridiculous. At the end of the day, like it's not about what they took, it's about the fact that people can just walk into your house, walk around and do so without consequence. Uh, if it's that extra bit of deterrence that there's a car driving around with its spotlight sun looking into houses, then I think it's worth doing for sure. Concerned by increasing break-ins, Neighbors are now contemplating the idea of investing in private security guards to patrol the streets. This doorbell camera recorded a high-stakes chase. The person pursued by the police was driving recklessly at an alarming speed. The car eventually lost control and crashed. Officers quickly left their vehicles, forming a perimeter around the suspect's car. Additional police units arrived, and the suspect was apprehended. Fortunately, no one was injured in the incident. A shirtless barefoot man appeared at someone's house late at night. He rang the doorbell and claimed to be there for some type of chores. Purchase. Well, I just purchased online, but I'm waiting for the keys. 
Uh, I'm going to be doing the chores till you get out, till you open up. I'm just going to be doing chores like you want. Like Ma said. The homeowner, exercising caution, wisely decided not to answer it. A man arrived at the front door of a house late at night. He rang the doorbell, took a seat on the porch chair, and started smoking. The man appeared visibly distressed. The homeowner. After a while, he walked away and shouted out loud, leaving us wondering about the challenges he might be facing. Two homeless individuals appeared at a random house. One of them rang the doorbell, expecting the door to open, but it didn't. The man decided to spend the night on the porch due to a lack of options. If you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. The woman, walking closer to the doorbell camera, left a message for the owner expressing their desire to take a room on rent, mentioning their difficult circumstances after losing their baby and being homeless. They conveyed that they had some money and were waiting to hear back from the owner. Please leave the package outside. If you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. You got somebody who wants to rent a room. There's someone who would like to rent your room. Mm, he has lots of money and he would like to rent you a room. He just lost his baby. Baby died. He had, had his baby. And baby died. He's looking forward to go visit his baby. Um, give us, a, please give us a response. Thank you. Have a good night. Rest God bless you. In the Orange County area of California, a man engaged in illegal activity. Late at night, he appeared in someone's driveway and used an object to create scratches on the car. Unfortunately, his face wasn't captured on camera. Otherwise, it could have assisted the police in arresting and charging him for his actions. An unusual stranger arrives at these people's door during the late hours of the night. Having approached their porch, he removes his shirt and rings the doorbell, yet they refrain from opening the door. A break-in at the house took place by Rappahannock around 8.15 p.m., holding items in their hand with the items.
it appeared like the glass had been shattered. In broad daylight, a guy with a rolly board rolled into someone's property, not with any nefarious intent, but for some goofy antics. After doing some lighthearted shenanigans, he took things to another level by proceeding to lick something on the wall. In broad daylight, two young men were caught sneaking around someone's property, attempting to peer inside the house. After lingering for a while, they eventually decided to leave, leaving behind an uneasy feeling for the homeowners. A homeless person appeared on someone's property, seemingly searching for something. The homeowner received a notification about the presence and asked him to leave, threatening to call the police. I came through the alley and I dropped something. I dropped my $20 bill. Well, if you came through the alley, you didn't drop it on my porch. You need to get off my property. I'm calling the cops. Okay, and the cops will tell you the same thing. I dropped something, I'm looking for it. I'm homeless and it's all I have to feed myself. However, the guy claimed to have lost his $20 bill and insisted on finding it, stating it was all he had. At someone's house, a person rang the doorbell but the homeowner, unfamiliar with the visitor, asked him to leave. Hi, do you need help with something? I forgot the code. Um, I need you to leave the property right now, or I'm going to call Anaheim Police Department. I need you to leave the property immediately. This is your property? Yes, this is. We live in the property. I need you to leave right now, please. Do not come back on the property. Concerned, the homeowner called the police, who contacted the individual. It turned out he was homeless and had no warrants against him. In San Diego, California, a person attempted to enter someone's property under the guise of a termite inspector, despite not being called for. He boldly opened the door and stepped inside, raising suspicions about his true intentions, which seemed far from genuine. Late at night, a person decided to check out someone's property. They wandered around the home, checking if there was any way to get inside. What do you want? Fortunately, the doors were locked and they couldn't find a way in, so they eventually left. A person entered someone's property, picked up a package, and walked away casually. As they were leaving, the homeowner opened the door to see who was there, but couldn't spot the intruder. Hello? Hello? Some people never seem to grow up, even when they're old enough to know better. Two young men showed up at a random house, kicked the front door, and ran. Their forceful kick was so powerful that it broke the storm window. In Irvine, California, a thief was spotted lurking behind a delivery man. Pretending to search for an address with an empty blue plastic bag, the thief bided his time. After a brief pause, he brazenly returned to the scene to steal packages from the unsuspecting homeowner. A white truck was captured on camera as it brazenly stole a motorcycle from the parking area. The thieves swiftly loaded the bike onto the truck bed and made a quick getaway. In 
In an unusual encounter, a person approached someone's house, ringing the doorbell only to discover a box on the porch. Curiously, he retrieved a spray can from the box and began painting his shoes right there. quirky and unexpected moment indeed. After a successful FedEx delivery, the driver departed, leaving the package unattended. Seizing the opportunity, an opportunistic individual appeared out of nowhere trespassing onto the homeowner's property in broad daylight and brazenly stole the recently delivered package. Watch this alarming video of a group attempting to break in at home. They forcefully opened a sliding glass door to gain entry. Once inside, they targeted bedrooms, focusing on valuable items like jewelry. Shockingly, police revealed that they successfully broke into three homes during a five-week period captured in this footage. The suspects had entered occupied homes uh, in three cases. Unfortunately, despite being caught on the camera, the men involved has not been apprehended by the authorities. Check out this intense video where a group tries to steal a jet ski under the cover of darkness. With determination, they rush to attach the jet ski to their car for a quick getaway. However, their plan goes awry as they struggle to secure the jet ski. Startled and undeterred, the thieves quickly abandoned their mission, leaving the relieved but shaken homeowner after reviewing the home security footage. Picture this, a young guy wearing a mask stands at the front door of a house, threatening to throw a rock at the window if the owner doesn't open up. He acts like he sees people inside. Yeah, I can hear you. I can answer the door right now, but if you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. How can't you enter the door if we're right by it? No. Stop stalking people. Hey, Steve. Throw a rock at me, I'm gonna throw a rock through your window. You're sitting right there looking at me. It just pisses me off. This creepy situation happens late at night, and he goes around knocking on the doors of several homes. Unclear intentions make it even more unsettling. Imagine this. A car pulls up to a home with two guys inside, trying to steal a catalytic converter. Meanwhile, the homeowner is just chilling in the living room, watching TV. Suddenly, he gets a notification on his phone that someone's on his property. He springs into action rushing out to scare off these would-be thieves. They bolt, but not before cutting off half of the catalytic converter. Luckily, the owner manages to prevent them from taking it with them. 
watch this unsettling scene unfold as a shirtless man, with his head covered in a plastic bag, sets out on a disturbing journey in the middle of the night. He randomly bangs on different doors, behaving in a way that defies all reason and logic. Look at this neighbor who goes to the homeowner's garage and starts violently kicking the garage door for no apparent reason. Shockingly, this man has been arrested three times for his destructive actions. Hold your laughter, gasps, and confusion. This video is about to deliver it all. A woman stands at her front door, waiting for someone, when suddenly, a hooded man appears out of nowhere. He grabs her leg, drags her to the door, and makes off with her shoe. A bold individual ventured onto someone's porch and seized a few packages. However, as he was making his exit, the homeowner confronted him, revealing that he was captured on camera. Put it back, put it back, I got you on camera. I got you on camera. Put it down and leave. Thank you. Put it back where you found it. In response to the warning, the man left the packages and hastily left the scene. In the early hours of Friday morning, an individual on a motorized scooter targeted someone's house. Swiftly, they approached, ran to the window, and hurled two large rocks through it. The perpetrator then hastily fled on their scooter. Fortunately, no injuries were reported. In Albuquerque, New Mexico, a woman entered someone's porch and was caught on the doorbell camera. Brazenly, she opened a package at the doorstep selected items to her liking, and casually walked away, oblivious to the surveillance. One night, a porch pirate trespassed onto someone's property. Scaling the railing, the thief unplugged a Halloween cat and absconded with the stolen item. At night, a man rang the doorbell of a residence. The homeowner responded via the intercom, and the man explained that he was being bothered by someone outside. Seeking help, he requested the homeowner to call the police. Uh, Cornelius, uh, ma'am, man, that's somebody trying to, uh, trying to get at me out here. I need to, uh, I said, uh, if you don't mind, that's somebody trying to get at me out here uh, 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 unfaithfully, uh, violently. I need you to call the police if you can. I needed to call the, call the cops if you could, the police, there's somebody, uh, they were looking for me already, somebody's out there trying to violently, uh, bother me, B violently b bother me, if you don't mind, I sure would thank you. In Brooklyn, New York, a young girl casually wandered onto a porch during the daytime. 
Instead of a friendly visit, she mischievously kicked aside a package, swiftly grabbed it, and made a hasty escape. The stolen package contained the owner's son's beloved Lego set. Watch this unsettling video captured on camera, where a drunk driver crashes into parked cars on the road late at night, creating chaos and danger for everyone involved. Check out this worrisome video where a woman struggles to open her door late at night, expressing fear that someone, possibly a car, might be following her. Fortunately, she manages to enter her home safely. Watch this crazy video from Los Angeles, California, where a guy attempts to climb a door and break into someone's property in broad daylight. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just, uh, I was just trying to go, man. Go. Okay, bye, bye, bye. No, you gotta get out I'm of going, right I'm now. going right now. Bro. What are you doing? I was just climbing the floor. Why are you... Luckily, the homeowner catches him red-handed. Take a look at this video from a camera in Tampa, Florida where a guy enters someone's property. He attempts to force open a door to what seems like a storage room, all while blasting loud music. Failing in his attempt, and perhaps fearing detection, he decides to leave. Later, he returns to check the trash, but fortunately, nothing bad occurs and nothing is stolen. Check out this unsettling video. Three guys smash the car window, attempting to snatch valuable items. However, their plans quickly crumble as the blaring car alarm interrupts their scheme, forcing them to flee empty-handed. Buckle up for this bizarre ride. It's 3 a.m. And out of nowhere, this guy shows up, steals the ring doorbell, hops into his car, and speeds away. weirdness level is off the charts. Buckle up for a bizarre ride. In this video, a guy attempts to break into someone's house. As soon as he opens the door, the homeowner gets a notification on his phone. When confronted, the intruder claims he just wants to use some Vaseline, 
The owner threatens to call the police, and the guy beats a hasty retreat. What are you doing? I'm using Vaseline. Excuse me? What do you want? I just called the police, so you better walk away from my door. He walked, I just told him I called the police, and he wanted to tell me he would walk away from the door. Sorry. I didn't call him. I just told him I did. He walked away. Check out this video from Phoenix, Arizona. A guy is trying to break into someone's car using a tool. After some struggle, he manages to open the door, grab something from the car, throws it into his getaway vehicle, and speeds away. Surprisingly, this guy is still on the loose. In this scary video, a family is enjoying a calm evening calling for their dog to come home. Suddenly, their peaceful moment turns into a nightmare as they notice a man with a gun. Shockingly, he starts firing shots into the air, causing panic and confusion. His intentions remain a mystery, but thankfully, no one was harmed. Watch this video where a guy shows up at someone's front door, attempting to break in. The homeowner gets a notification on his phone, warns the person to leave, but he persists. Threatening to call the police, the owner manages to scare him off, but the intruder returns multiple times, creating a tense situation. Leave now. This is not your home. Leave now. Leave now. I'm calling the police. Leave now. Finally, after repeated warnings, he retreats from the property. In broad daylight in Miami, a man arrived at a house in his black car. His actions, captured on camera, showed him casually taking porch furniture and loading it into the back of his car. Not stopping there, he proceeded to seize a large plant and added it to his haul before making a swift getaway. The owner of this house had an unexpected visitor late at night. The man wasn't up to anything good. He headed straight to the mailbox, pried it open, and stole everything that was inside.
a man wearing a hood and covering his face approached a house door. He persistently tried to bypass the door's security code to gain unauthorized access. Despite his relentless attempts, the home security measures proved effective, and he was unsuccessful. Eventually, he had no choice but to leave. A perplexed woman approached the front door of a house, mumbling to herself. She knocked on the door, claiming to be searching for someone she loves, an individual working in law enforcement, possibly under a different name. However, she was at the wrong address, and the residents informed her of the mistake. Oh, God. I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm looking for someone. I found Christ. I have keys to a Mazda. Thought it was my first love. But maybe it's a third chance? I really don't like puzzles. But I've gone to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right, to the front, to the front, to the back, to the back. Now dip? Am I supposed to dip? I put my hand on, on my hip when I dip, you dip, you dip. Okay, great. That's amazing. That's Jesus. Hey, I don't know about this. And we're going to knock. I'm going to knock on your door. Uh, I'm sorry to bother you. Can I help you? I'm sorry. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for someone that I love. I love myself. I love God first, Christ, Jesus Christ, superstar. But I'm looking for a guy. He may be going by a different name because he's in law enforcement of some sort. Mm, I'm not you got the wrong house. Okay, wrong house. Go sit and wait. Thank you. Sir? Unfortunately, she couldn't locate the person she was looking for. In Garden Grove, California, a man set out to steal a car. He attempted to open two cars parked in a driveway, but they were fortunately locked. Undeterred, he continued checking vehicles on the street in search of an unlocked one. Fortunately, all the cars were locked and no theft occurred. This incident serves as a reminder always to lock our cars for added security. A guy on his bike embarked on an unusual mission late at night to steal people's cars. He wandered down the road, checking the cars parked along the way. However, he couldn't gain access to a single one, as all of them were locked. In Spring Hill, Florida, late at night, two guys showed up at someone's driveway. They checked both cars parked there with the intention of stealing, but thankfully, the owner had locked the cars. If the cars were unlocked, the consequences could have been much more severe. In a quiet area of Seattle, Katie Thurick's home fell victim to burglary. The thieves, captured on camera, strategically approached the side of her home to disable phone and cable lines, consequently knocking out ring and nest cameras. They managed to escape with over $50,000 worth of valuables, including expensive wine, diamonds, and designer handbags, fleeing in a black getaway car. I design systems to protect people, not property. Any 
I'm not going to say intelligent burglar because they're not intelligent or they wouldn't be burglars in the first place. But the first thing they're going to do is go to the um, uh, box outside your house and cut the phone lines and cut the cables. Protecting properties are natural. Um, you're going to catch a burglar if you got a right system. We call them notifier verifiers. Quality is important and now everything should be on its own zone. So when there's activity, you can tell um, a door opened, a motion detector went off, a window broke, um, another door opened. That's activity. You know somebody is in your home or business. At the time of the break-in, Thurik was in the process of selling her home. I actually went around the house first. Maybe a little bit of overkill, but it makes me feel okay staying there um, and having protection for me and my kid. Since the incident, she has relocated to a new residence and is determined not to be a burglary victim again. On Trevor Street in West Nashville, the Caniot family was jolted awake when four masked individuals attempted to break into their house. The intruders banged on the front door in the glass, prompting the homeowner to yell, scaring them off. The police were immediately called. Fortunately, the intruders fled, avoiding potentially severe consequences if they had gained entry. Uh, groggy, but completely freaked out, honestly. I, I think because I've never seen people come at a house with masks on before. They probably just were hoping we weren't home and wanted to rob us, but we were home. She uh, doesn't feel safe anymore, and that's really sad. Uh, she's lived here a long time, and it uh, frustrates me to know that she's not happy here. Another video captured a few hours later in the Wedgwood, Houston area shows another attempted break-in, but it remains unclear if it involves the same group. In this cheeky doorbell footage, a guy is caught sneaking into someone's property. Displaying confidence, he stylishly positions himself at the porch entrance, meticulously scanning his surroundings to ensure no one is around. When the coast is clear, he seizes the opportunity, making a swift escape with an unexpected item, a skeleton placed just outside the door. In a daring early morning heist on Wednesday, a group of burglars targeted a marijuana dispensary in Silver Lake. The criminals, equipped with tools, hopped over the fence from the alley behind the shop and skillfully broke into the rear door. Although the owner received a notification from the security company, he arrived just minutes after the suspects had fled the scene. And they all just kind of filed in and um, we just watched them, you know, unload, unload into two cars. Like six guys just unloading into two cars full and they drove, they drove off, couldn't even close the trunk. It was pretty obviously they were, they were told, they were told where everything was at. They could have even been on the phone with someone directing them around it seemed. It's discomforting to say the least. In this day and age, it's hard. It's hard to make it in this business, and uh, this doesn't help much. The dispensary, in operation since 2006, experienced its largest robbery yet, with the burglars making off with an estimated $500,000 worth of marijuana and cannabis-related products. In a seemingly quiet night, a man and two women were caught off guard as another man approached from behind, brandishing a weapon. He aggressively demanded their money, wallets, and more. Fortunately, no one was injured in the incident, and hopefully, they were able to seek help promptly. In broad daylight, two burglars brazenly jumped the fence, smashed the door, and infiltrated the house. In a swift three-minute operation, they made off with a homeowner's laptop, jewelry box, and a few other items. I already had a break-in two months ago. I was already kind of hyper-vigilant about it. it. Makes you wonder how if they're watching, monitoring, and it's kind of stalking. I don't, I don't know. The homeowner, having experienced a previous robbery, had installed cameras in the house, capturing the audacious crime. Under the cover of darkness, two individuals attempted to break into a residence in Chula Vista, California. Their efforts to force entry from the rear of the house were recorded by various ring cameras, capturing their faces from different angles. Other ring cameras with different angles were captured. Watch until the end. Second clip.
thread clip. Fourth clip. The footage provides valuable evidence for the police to identify, locate, and apprehend the suspects. Under cover of a rainy night, three masked and hooded individuals arrived in two cars at a business on Perkins in Memphis, Tennessee. I know, I know what's going on. I know things. Their attempt to break the front door of the business is documented, but details about whether they were successful or not remain unclear. Hopefully, their audacious endeavor did not lead to a successful break-in. In Detroit, Michigan, a masked man entered a building during daylight when the door was open. Shortly after, two more individuals arrived at the same building, attempting to break in. However, this time, the door was locked, so they tried to force the front door open. Eventually, they succeeded in gaining access to the building and quickly left with their desired items. At night, a group of young people was seen walking around with weapons in their hands. As they passed the camera range and returned, more young people joined them, also carrying weapons. At one point, one of the young men attempted to snatch the ring doorbell camera. The exact nature of their intentions remains unclear, but it's evident that they weren't good. Under the shroud of night, a man equipped with nefarious tools approached a residence with sinister intent. Determination etched across his face. He sought to violate the sanctity of a home. However, fortune favored the occupants, as a voice from within startled him, sending the intruder fleeing into the shadows, leaving the sanctuary untouched. Picture this, you're chilling outside your house, enjoying some music, when suddenly, the vibe takes a dark turn. Gunshots echo through your neighborhood, instantly flipping your enjoyment into panic. That's precisely what went down in this video. The neighbors, understandably, were freaked out. The drama didn't stop there. After a while, more shots rang out continuously. Pretty unnerving, isn't it? Some folks have zero qualms about strolling into someone's house in broad daylight, blissfully oblivious to the fact that it's downright illegal. A duo consisting of a guy and a girl decided to break into a house with intentions that certainly weren't in the realm of goodness.
In Albuquerque, New Mexico, around 1 a.m., a young woman entered someone's backyard through the driveway. She roamed around, seemingly undeterred by the motion lights. However, her nighttime adventure took an unexpected turn when the voice-activated motion ring light kicked in, sending her off in a startled retreat. A man approaches the door of a house and presses the doorbell. The homeowner, perplexed and somewhat alarmed, cautiously questions the stranger's presence at their front door. The man doesn't answer any questions, but continuously points his finger without uttering a single word. I don't have your name. Huh? I took a lot! Did you get The owner asks the guy to leave, but he continues his odd behavior. You need to leave. The homeowner then threatens to release the dog, but the guy doesn't seem bothered. Hey, I'm gonna get the dog for you if you don't leave. You need to leave, or I'm gonna get the dogs on you. I'm gonna call the dogs on you. After some time, he finally leaves. In the quiet hours of the night, a woman appeared at a random house, holding an intriguing device in her hand, hinting at mischief. She moved closer to the doorbell camera, leaving her intentions unclear. The eerie encounter left the homeowners puzzled and concerned about the unknown device she wielded. In Orange, California, a guy strolled onto someone's driveway, casually inspecting a car to see if it was left unlocked. However, this wasn't his first escapade. The night before, he had broken into a neighboring property, making off with a lawnmower and trimmer. The community remained on alert, unaware of when he might strike next. In the late hours of the night, a woman was caught on a doorbell camera trespassing onto someone's property. Making a beeline for the mailbox, she executed her covert mission with precision, swiftly gathering all the mail. What she was up to is anyone's guess. At 2 a.m., the CCTV camera captured a man stopping to read a banner, carefully ensuring the coast was clear. After circling the location, he was quickly joined by a second individual. One of them made his way into the catering box, stealing what he could, although the loot amounted to only about 50 euros, hardly worth the trouble he went through. 
In a calculated move, a group of burglars, covered from head to toe, infiltrated a house, unaware that their every move was being recorded. As they cautiously entered the living room, their conversation revealed a methodical plan to steal easily portable items. Their second round of looting indicated a practiced approach, suggesting this wasn't their first job. The lack of proper locks and security alarms made the house an easy target for their calculated intrusion. Hold on to our final clip, which is the most scariest and most creepiest one. And if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our creepiest videos. In a harrowing incident in North Hollywood, a couple found themselves cornered in their parking garage during the early hours of October 10th. The assailants, one of whom was identified as 22-year-old Deshaun Dow, attempted to take the man's watch forcibly. When the man resisted, Dow pressed a weapon against his chest, compelling him to surrender his valuables. The suspects swiftly fled in a getaway car. A total violation. To have your property stolen in like the place that you live is absolutely insane. Like, how dare you feel like you have the right to walk up and take somebody else's possessions that you haven't earned? It's bold to just be waiting in a garage that's gated with no fear of that. It shows the audaciousness of it. You're in a position where it's property or life, you're gonna protect life, of course. LAPD is actively searching for Dow, who has a history of involvement in several robberies in the area and has managed to post bail five times in the last 18 months. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated with our latest videos.